We'll get started in easy seated pose, whichever position feels good for you today. Uh, you're welcome to cross one foot in front of the other. You're welcome to boost yourselves up. I encourage you today to ask your body what feels best for you today. What feels best as a posture to maintain an erect spine, nice and tall. And today we're going to sink deeply into the subconscious allowing our bodies to speak to us and to tell us what it needs. So, whenever you're ready, join me with your hands on your knees, palms facing up. And we'll take a few deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. Noticing the muscles in our faces soften with each exhalation. As the shoulders melt away from the ears. And we start drawing the air into our bodies. Like warmth from the sun. Or like water seeping through the earth into the roots and the soil beneath a beautiful plant or tree. Spreading warmth, light, and nourishment throughout our bodies and cultivating every part of our body. Noticing the comfort that washes through us, the lightness, and the warmth. Traveling into every part of our bodies, all the way through the arms and down to the fingertips. Down from the neck into the chest, torso, waist and hips. All the way through the legs and into the feet. Focusing on the areas of comfort allows us to deeply sink into a restful, restorative, and healing state. Even if we don't have time for a proper nap or sleep, just focusing inwards and doing a body scan or visualizing light warmth and comfort spreading through us can be very beneficial. Allowing our mind body to reset. And creating space within us for newness to come. New patterns, new thoughts, new energy. going beyond the superficial thought and consciousness. Taking us through the networks of our mind-body, guided by the internal intelligence of the vibrations and energy that we are made of. Allowing our subconscious to speak to us, telling us what we need, and what our authentic self is. a 
moment to set an intention for today's practice. Drawing in new energy and curiosity and exhaling competition, expectation, and judgment. Inhaling our lungs deeply, expanding the rib cages laterally, holding at the top, bringing in all that goodness, and exhaling through the mouth. Coming back to the space around us, we open our eyes and we make our way into our staff pose, bringing our feet all the way out in front of us. Extending them long. Oh, that feels good. And giving them a little bit of a wiggle. Ah. We're going to stay here for the next few moments in a very gentle forward fold. So, spreading so that our sit bones are firmly planted on the mat. Elongating the torso, reaching all the way through from the tailbone through to the crown of the head. Pressing our hands into our thighs, gently activating the spine, drawing the shoulder blades in and down, keeping our toes pointed up to the sky. Deep breaths and elongate, and as and when possible, we slowly start to hinge forward, maybe keeping a micro bend in the knee. Breathing as deeply as possible. Once again, elongating with the inhalation, pressing the thighs away, and then slowly releasing the hands down to the mat, and we hinge forward, walking the hands slowly. We're not actively pressing ourselves into the earth here. We're slowly melting as energy releases in our back body. Using the breath to slowly breathe the back body long, releasing tension that we don't need. Possibly energy that isn't serving us. And as we lower down a little bit closer to the legs, you're welcome to wrap the hands around the legs in order to keep the feet pointed up. The goal here is to maintain our presence in this moment, noticing when our minds may become distracted or shifting to another realm, to a thought or a sensation. It's fine. Just note whatever that distraction is. Come back to the physical. Come back to the moment and the mindfulness that we're creating here at the same time. Bringing curiosity to each pose. Noticing any areas of discomfort, breathing into them. Noticing the layers of discomfort. Kind of like an onion, or again, like the characteristics of a wine. That they're so complex, and that they do transform and change with each moment and each breath. Continuing to elongate with each inhalation and melt with each exhalation. Allowing the breath to travel through the body to where it needs to be. 
and allowing the body to guide the breath. Letting the subconscious in and out. back up to an erect spine, stacking the vertebrae, shoulders, neck, and head. We're going to bring our left leg in front of us and our right leg behind in our double four deer pose. We want to make sure that our knees are on our mats and that the knees are also in line with the ankles or in line with the hips. So turning our shoulders so that they're facing over top of the left knee. Inhaling the long in the spine. Keeping that right foot flexed and planted and slowly hinging forward. Finding the earth with our hands. Elongating the spine. Deep breaths in. And then slowly hinging as we warm into the left hip. Playing around with the placement of the feet. Flexing or pointing them. Whichever feels good for the body. Again, we're not here to create any stress. We're here to release it. To tell the body that it is safe to do so. You may even start to notice the right hip release. We melt forward slowly, melting away our tension. Option, of course, to bring the earth closer to the forehead, stacking the fists or the hands or finding a block, whatever feels good. We'll be here for a few more breaths. Drawing our awareness to our physical sensations. And our breath, ensuring that we have a steady rhythm of inhale to exhale. Inhale, we'll slowly press ourselves back up, walking our hands in, bringing the right leg all the way back in front, crossing it over fire log as tight or as wide as you would like. Of course, you can always adjust. Inhaling, reaching the arms all the way up. Exhale, we hinge forward. Once again, finding our hands to the earth, checking in what's happening in the right hip and glute, maybe even the lower back here. And then we'll be here for a few breaths, slowly melting our way forward, elongating on the inhale and melting on the exhale. Maintaining our presence in this moment. Creating our mindfulness. Releasing tension and patterns. For energy to flow and newness to come in.
one more big breath here. And then we'll slowly walk our way back up, extending both legs all the way out in front of us, wiggling as feels comfortable. And bringing our hands behind us into a reverse table. Hands are underneath the shoulders, the feet and knees are about hip width. And go ahead and press up. Pressing into the front of the arms, slowly opening up the chest. Finding a placement for the head as feels comfortable. Lifting the chest high as possible. Breathing the energy down through the arms, through the chest, and the heart center spreading down. Feeling the grounding of our fingers and our feet into the earth. One more breath here. And we'll slowly lower ourselves all the way back down. Staying where we are for just another moment. And we should like bring the legs left to right, rolling over on the feet. Warming into the lower back a little bit more. You may feel this in the hips. Just bringing a little bit more awareness to those areas. Some synovial fluid for more fluid movements. And last time on each side. The massage of the glutes at the same time. Feels good on the sit bone. Good. And coming back to center, we scooch ourselves back. The right foot and leg now come in front of us. The left comes behind. We're in our deer pose. Once again, finding our placement. Our feet are flexed to start with. And again, we have our ankle in line with our knee on both legs. Turning and rotating the torso over the right leg. Inhaling, elongating the spine. And as and when you're ready, go ahead and start to hinge forward, slowly melting towards the earth, finding our hands on the earth for support. And then melting in to this side of the body, noticing any different sensations on this side, breathing in curiosity to where we hold our tension and if we can let it go. And honoring the state of our body in this moment, at this point in our practice. Bringing the earth closer as feels comfortable. Noticing tension start to release as our bodies settle in. comfort and lightness through our bodies. Warmth is visualizing that sunshine helps. On the next inhale, we'll walk 
Our hands back in, stacking the vertebrae. And then go ahead and bring the left leg all the way out front, stacking it over top of the right. Narrow or wide. Fire log here. Option, of course, to flex the feet or point them. Inhaling, reaching the arms up. And on the exhale, we hinge forward. Once again, elongating from tailbone through to the crown of the head. And melting over. Checking in with any sensations in the left hip and glute. Through the lower back. Being gentle. Allowing the process to unfold as it will naturally. We're not forcing anything. And creating that space for the body to tell us what it needs and which posture feels best for us today. Readjusting as the body starts to release and relax. Noticing any tension we might be holding in the neck, shoulders, or jaw, and asking if we can let it go. We'll slowly walk ourselves all the way back up, stacking the vertebrae, shoulders, neck, and head. Elongating the legs once again all the way in front of us. Go ahead and give them a little wiggle. Good. And once again, we'll come into our reverse table. Bring our hands underneath the shoulders. Feet again are planted with the knees and feet about hip width. And when you're ready, go ahead and lift all the way up. Pressing into the arms, the chest, and lifting high. Creating space throughout the chest, down the arms. And again, finding a placement for the head that feels most comfortable. Exploring the areas of sensations. One more big breath. And we'll slowly lower ourselves all the way back down. Scooching our hips back. Standing the legs one more time in stack pose. Good. Reaching the arms parallel to the floor, tucking our chins into our chests. Finding either a passive or an active pulse here, or stillness. Keeping the feet flexed, toes are pointing up to the sky, chin is tucked into our chest. Noticing all of the sensations rippling down the back of our body. Good. Then inhaling, we come all the way back up, drawing our feet together, soles of the feet working towards all four corners, pressing together. The toes are pressing together. You'll notice your knees will come up, that's fine. 
Let's go ahead and reach around the big toes. This is going to enable us to draw the shoulders in and down, elongating the spine. You know the name of the game now. Good. Pressing the knees away. Keeping the bottoms of the feet connected as best as possible. Breathing deeply. Building a little bit of heat in the hips to help melt away tension gently. Inhale, pressing the earth away with the knees. And go ahead and release the knees and the fingers. Option, of course, to wrap the hands around, elongating again and hinging forward. You may wish to press the knees away again. Option, of course, to round forward, lowering the head, chin to chest. Finding that pose, that posture, the depth that feels good. As we warm into the hips and round the lower back. Breathing into any areas of discomfort. Breathing nourishment through the spine, wherever it may be needed. Sinking into our subconscious. Keeping our intention on curiosity, our experience, and this sensation. Good. On the next inhale, we roll up gently. Taking a moment here to notice any sensations, pausing to listen to any subtle shifts that may be happening in our bodies. And then we'll elongate once again the legs, but wide on the mat this time. Finding our heels reaching towards the edges or the corners of the mat. Shifting our weight forward with our hands. We're going to stay here with our feet flexed. This may be sufficient. It's fine. Stay wherever it feels good. Where you feel energy generating and tension possibly releasing. If you're able to keep the toes pointing up. Perhaps you want to walk the hands forward. We'll be here for a few moments. Once again, settling in to the sensations. Coming to our breath to help guide the depth of our pose. To release blocked energy. Because that's all we are is energy. We're very susceptible to the energy of others around us as they are to us. So any chance that we get to shift our energy, to move it, to unblock it, let's take it and benefit from it. Again, keeping the toes pointed up to the sky. Melting slowly towards the earth. Possibly you're already on your forearms. Again, there's no competition. There's no expectation as to where you're supposed to be, only that you honor the state of the body in this moment and not create any stress in the mind.
Noticing if we've shifted any tension to our faces, jaws, neck, or shoulders. Noticing if the breath is labored and adjusting ourselves accordingly. shifts, noting any distractions, and bringing our awareness back to this present moment. We'll be here for three more breaths. slowly walking our vertebrae back up, drawing the legs in with assistance from the hands underneath the knees. That will feel really good. Yes. Bringing our knees underneath us, we're shifting into a modified rock pose here. With our knees wide on the mat, and our toes touching, checking in with the toes behind us, making sure that the big toes are together and the knees are as wide as is possible for you today. We call this saddle pose. So normally you're accustomed to coming all the way down into a child's pose at this point. We're gonna be as wide as possible, toes are touching. The fingers are going to come behind us Rolling the shoulders back, lifting the hips, and then scooching back, butt over top of the feet, bringing our palms down to the earth, slowly starting to lower ourselves down, maybe onto the forearms. This might be enough for the quadriceps and the hip flexors, that's fine. If you're able to keep Lifting and scooching, please do so. You may end up coming down onto your forearms gently. This may start to light up a little bit in the front of the arms and the chest. Carefully doing so. If any compressional discomfort is in the lower back, just lift and scooch. Lift and scooch. Finding a placement for the head. Breathing into the chest and the front of the arms. Checking in with what's happening in the quadricep muscles and the hip flexors. Being sure that we're not putting any pressure on the lower back unnecessarily. Breathing into any areas of discomfort. Option, of course, to come all the way down onto your back if that feels good and accessible to you today. Again, just exploring and letting go of expectation. Releasing our sense of control or our need to feel control. Allowing the body to melt as it needs to. And the breath to find its way through the body where it needs nourishing. No 
be here for three more breaths. And then slowly we'll start to walk our way all the way back up, driving our weight into our elbows, the palms of our hands, gently pressing up, bringing the knees together, working our way into child's pose, reaching our hands long on the mat, shifting the hips left to right. And now melting through the hips, allowing the spine to rest and re reset. Bringing the earth closer to our forehead with our fists or our palms underneath the forehead. Finding stillness, if preferable. Bringing our awareness back to the breath as it expands our rib cage laterally. And once again, drawing the breath down the spine like a ribbon dancing and nourishing each vertebrae and each disc in between. Drawing ourselves back up into all fours with our hands underneath our shoulders. Knees are underneath our hips. Go ahead and wiggle left to right. Mm. Allowing the head to hang heavy, sway naturally in time with the hips. Finding any patterns that may be trapping energy and blocking our movements. Slowly adding additional lateral flexion, looking back towards the feet, eyes open or closed. Perhaps you find a meditative flow with the eyes closed, enabling us to come more inwards into our bodies. And more in tune with the vibrations and the rhythms and our sensations. Coming back to neutral, running through a very gentle flow of traditional cat cows, gripping the mats with our fingers, inhaling, lifting the tailbone and flowing through each vertebrae, lifting the chest and head. Exhaling, rounding out the tailbone to start following in through the vertebrae, tucking the chin to the chest and repeating this with our breath and our intention to remain present with the experience and curiosity Two more. Good. 
filling the entire body with breath and movement. Coming back to neutral. We'll curl our toes underneath our shins and step up into one down dog very gently today. Once again, finding grounding of our fingers and our knuckles pressing into the earth and lifting the hips up. Pedaling out to the feet, bending one knee at a time, or finding stillness, shifting, flowing, whatever feels yummy. This is your practice. Yogi's choice, maybe shifting the hips left and right. Oh, working out any cobwebs. Recreating patterns in our bodies, shifting away from the normal patterns. Finding new space and lightness in our back bodies. And again, using the breath to nourish and bring lightness. I always like to visualize sunshine warming and melting away. Attention. Let's do one more big breath here. And coming back to center, lowering our knees down to the mat, and we're coming into prone pose. So gently making our way all the way down, maybe onto our forearms, and then lowering our thighs and our hips onto the mat. Shifting the hips left and right, just finding a comfortable placement. We'll do a gentle cobra. So bringing the hands underneath our chest, firmly planting the top of our feet into the mat. They're about hip width apart, tucking the elbows into our sides. Deep breaths in. We peel our chests off the mat, pressing the knuckles into the mat. Deep breaths here, drawing the breath into the lower back, pressing the thighs and the feet into the earth. Gentle back bend here. Tucking the elbows in. One more big breath. We're going to lower ourselves down and bringing our hands underneath our foreheads into prayer pose. The thumbs are pointing up. Maybe the elbows come a little bit wider. We're just going to hang out here for a few breaths, bringing our thumbs to the inside of our eyebrows and allowing our heads to melt into the thumbs, just activating our pressure points of our head, our skull, Bringing awareness to our third eye. Maybe you want to travel off to some happy place here. If you're not already there. Visualizing around you. Taking in the sounds, the smells, the temperatures. Noticing the shift in the sensations. Letting the head hang heavy. Trusting that the body will start to release any tension that we may be holding here. Serving 
ask to create a little bit more mindfulness. Serving us by clearing blocked energy. Sometimes we don't even know what is blocked. Now we're lifting the head up. Go ahead and scooch the hands a bit more open. Bringing the thumbs to the center of the eyebrow now. And once again, allowing the head to hang heavy. Melting into the thumbs. Activating the pressure points. Bringing our awareness to the breath. The steady inhalation and exhalation. Maybe even breathing into the abdomen, into the pelvic floor and our emotion center. Checking in, have any emotions bubbled up through our practice? Maybe the mood of our body has changed since the beginning. being curious and exploring. Good. Last time, lifting the head up. And let's bring our hands a little bit wider. Thumbs this time are going to be on the temples, the outside. And let's just roll and rub, massaging the temples. Forward and back, round and around. We don't take a lot of time usually to self-care, self-treat, and check in with any blockages that we may be hanging on to unnecessarily. Good. Deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. We bring our chins down to the mat, lifting our feet off the mat, hands are underneath our shoulders just for a moment, and go ahead and windshield wiper the legs left to right. back to center, bringing the knees in alignment with the hips, the feet are still off the floor. Option here to come into an upward bow, option to come into a cobra or an upward facing dog, whichever feels most comfortable and you can get there without straining. So either way we're peeling our chest off the earth, we're rolling our shoulders back if we can reach back gently grabbing onto our feet great we don't want to be torquing our spine or our lower back if you're in an upward bow go ahead and lift the thigh muscles off the earth pressing the feet into the hands opening up the chest if you're in a cobra or upward facing dog breathing into the lower back again opening the chest Breathing air and vitality through the arms, feeling the energy and the heat generating. Two more breaths in whichever pose feels most comfortable. And then we lower down gently allowing our lower backs to reset. The arms are running along the sides of our body. Chin is down on the mat. Taking three deep breaths in here. <sighs> Sighing it out. Feeling the energy that was generated in that pose. <sighs> Bringing our hands under our shoulders. Coming onto our knees, pressing up, and we're coming all the way back, sinking our hips 
kicks back into our child's pose, shifting or finding stillness before coming all the way back down onto our backs. Making our way into Shavasana, onto our back, supine pose. Taking a sip of water in between if, if desired. And then meeting up all the way down on our backs. Starting off with our left ankle crossing over the right knee or thigh. Hugging it in, either bringing our hands onto the shin behind the thigh, or if you would rather cradle the foot and the knee into the elbows, that's an option as well. Whichever feels most comfortable for you. And again, just taking a moment to notice any sensations here throughout the body. rotating so that the left foot comes down to the earth. We grab it with our right hand and slowly feel the left hip melt towards the earth. You may wish to assist this with a gentle pulse, butterfly into the left knee. Noticing what might be happening from the left knee wrapping around to the right hip and lower back, keeping our shoulder blades firmly planted, and again settling into areas of comfort and discomfort. Taking a moment to be thankful for all of the strength of our bodies, the areas that are light and comfortable. We do have a tendency to focus on what bothers us and the negative, but let's shift that for the moment. And remember how amazing and strong our bodies are. Shifting the hips to bring the left knee back over top of the right foot. Hanging on to the left foot as desirable or releasing it and expanding both arms wide on the mat. Taking a few deep breaths in here. Slowly hug both knees into our chest. Gentle apasana. Wrapping our hands or our arms all the way around the shins, shifting or finding stillness. Lowering our left foot back to the earth and crossing the right ankle over the left thigh. We're going to draw the knees in, giving ourselves a figure four hug. Hands on top of the shin behind the thigh or again cradling the foot. 
breathe, whichever feels good for you. And again, try exploring the position of the foot. Perhaps you have them flexed, perhaps not. Each time we enter into our poses, we enter in with curiosity, not knowing how we're going to feel. It's almost like we come into it with new eyes, new perspective, new curiosity each time, like a first time. So that we're open to the sensations, not assuming that we'll feel a certain way, but being open enough to be curious and to explore. Bringing our left hand onto our right foot, extending the right arm long, and then slowly lowering the right foot to the earth. Gentle rotation as we melt the right hip towards the earth, maybe butterflying the right knee, getting into some of the connective tissue that run through from the right knee into the hip and the lower back. Again, breathing into any areas of discomfort. And while we're aware of them, we know that they're transitioning with each breath. We also remember what feels good and strong. And I've got a little bit of a crick crack, crick crack happening. It's my body telling me that I'm creating space. Nourishing it, opening it up and releasing that tension. For healthy joints and tissues throughout our body. Yeah, rotating the hips back to center so that the right knee Lowers on top of the left foot, holding on to the foot or letting it go, expanding our tree branches wide. Palms are facing up. Deep breaths in, expanding the rib cage laterally. Maybe visualizing that sunshine now shining through us from head to toe. Slowly drawing our knees back into our chest, giving them a big hug. This time lifting the chest, the shoulders and the head off the mat, hugging in like a little ball. Tucking our chins into our chests. Noticing sensations energy running through us. Flushing deep breaths down the spine. Nourishing every part of our body. And then releasing out of that, coming into Shavasana and our final resting pose. Slowly elongating the legs, lowering the head and the shoulders down to the earth. Finding a suitable or comfortable position to finish our practice and to integrate today's practice into our bodies and minds. Running through a body scan from head to toe. Taking note of the energy, the mood, and sensations that may be running through us. So 
bringing our awareness deeply into the body. Letting ourselves steep in this moment like a cup of tea. Just letting that tea bag soak with no action taken. Just allowing the body to be. Allowing space for the subconscious to speak to us. And to create mindfulness. as we integrate our practice. Reflecting on any intention that we may have set at the beginning of our practice. With smiles on our faces, we give thanks for the opportunity to practice, thanks for the strength of our bodies, and strength of our minds to bring us here to the mat today, knowing that somehow we will benefit at some point. And while things may not resonate today, surely they will at some point when we need it most. taking as long as we need here in Shavasana, enjoying our conscious rest. And when ready, bringing our awareness back to the space around us, curling ourselves up into a little ball and gently coming back. Thank you all for joining me today. Namaste.